Hello folks and welcome to another episode from Exploring the Forgotten. In this episode we'll be exploring the main tunnel which would have gone from the old slate dressing workshop sheds to the head of incline, the first incline down into the mine. So this level has a tunnel halfway through the uh, haulage tunnel which veers off to the right if you were coming from the mill. Uh, so this episode is basically us just exploring that tunnel. There's quite a lot to see down there, more than what we originally thought. So please join us. Um, we do miss a little bit of filming on the first stretch of tunnel, but if you watch the video all the way to the end, you can see the tunnel on the way back out. So yeah, without further ado, um, please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, please watch part one, two and three, which is all the outside stuff to do with the quarry, all the above ground stuff, the machinery workshops, the old electric shops, the main work shed. And uh, yeah, and if you do like this kind of thing, Please watch one of our other videos. Thank you very much. Please enjoy. Right, people, we're back at the head of the uh, Minor Vern Incline by the old uh, house again. We've just been into the workshops for some lunch. We've already filmed this, but I'm going to film it again. This footage might be a bit better now I've worked out some of the settings on this camera. So we've just made our way past the um, the hoist, hoist house, we'll call it. The triple track incline. Um, yes. So we wanted to have a quick look down this tunnel. Wanted to see what's down here as it goes quite a fair ways in. Get the torch on full quack. Yeah. Always messing about with the camera I am. Just get it so there. there we go. <laughs> right, and we're off. <laughs> See how old this um, track on the right hand side is. Now the track on the left hand side is what they used right up until the end. Some modern wiring there, look. Sort of bulkhead thing. This was being used up until the late 90s. Yeah, it was all used up until the late 90s on this. So up until, so we're in, uh, as I'm recording this today, we are in May, yeah, yeah, we're in May 2023, and 2022, I think the back end of 2022, the mine came in, look at a modern fixture there, look, the mine come in and uh, they backfilled, this is the entrance here to the old, uh, to the mill. So this was backfilled in back in the 2022. So it's a real shame. I don't know why what they've achieved by doing it, rather than just slowing people down. But you just go round the side of the building. It's dead easy. So it's a shame. 
because um, we'll never be able to go through there again. <laughs> but uh, that's the way, I have been through here, but I never filmed any of it. But yeah, that's the film, that's the end down there. The tracks used to go that way. There is a little track going this way, look, but you can see they long, long since took the rails out to go that way. So we want to have a quick nose down here today. Let's have a look. So this is also another way into this place, folks. This here. So through here, obviously a makeshift water tank, and just out through there is the back end of the big sheds, the big dressing sheds. So if you've got wellies, you can just come through here. We came through here one time, it's easy enough. So they've all just used it as a water tank to try water for the mill through there, perhaps, I don't know. We've got a network of compressor pipes for the looks of this. Yeah, air pipes. Mine dog. You love it down here, don't you, Bryn? Wow, look how whipped away that, that uh, bit of rail there is, folks. Some big vents. Teapot. Rotting away. Oh, it's actually full of water. Look, look at that. It's actually full of water. <laughs> cool is that? Yeah, it's very wet in here. It's a really old trackage. Quite low. Does that go outside there then, does it? Yeah, Because you can go, yeah, we saw some of this open from at the top, didn't we? So yeah, I, f I flew the drone over this place, folks, and uh, you could see some open chambers. Uh, Pepsi Max. Bell ends. Some old track. Is that might just be a survey marker? Oh look, it only remains of an air door. Is it or just a Volvo? Volvo is an air door, do you think? Oh look at that. Look at that. The, the wood is just completely corroded. And some dickheads put that up there. Look, some bell ends. Well, look at that, it's just turned to dust, look. Ugh. <laughs> That's no. minging. Oh. Where are the fire bricks under here? Where are the fire bricks and folks, look. They would have been out the, they would nick them out the, um, out the winding house, wouldn't they, here? Because it would have had an engine in it. Clearly something on top of that, doing something, I'm not sure what. A rail or a base of some description, isn't it? Huh. Very strange. And the tracks just go on. Not interesting. Yeah, we're heading on the now, aren't we? Yeah. Quite old trackage under here, isn't it? They completely rotted away again as well, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. A carbide graffiti. Yeah, that's carbide. On a concrete wall. Again, look at the state of this uh, this woodwork. <laughs> it's it's actually growing fungal spores off it. Look, look at that. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Wonder why they put these doors under here then. There's no draft, is there? Ah. Sort of tunnel to somewhere. <coughs> oh. Wow, look at the prescription track. That's your dogs. Twin rail. You know what you need to buy, Chunk? A nice SLR camera and a really small st stand. A really nice SLR camera, I reckon. And it takes some really nice still photos. Wow, look at this, yeah. Is that there? Look at an iron post 
This is pretty cool, isn't it? This is it's like two tracks there. Quite a modern pipe here, look. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Definitely been used as a dumping area, this one. Really. Pardon? Incline. Oh. Ah, where the heck does this go down to? Well, we were at the bottom this, weren't we? Were we? Yeah. It's like when we gone over a pulley that. So we went over a pulley that and gone down there. That would have gone this. Where the hell are we? We've been, we've been to the bottom of this. Nasty. Oh. This is going to be epic. It's a bit slippy up the top. It's not so bad here. But these these wellies are bored off you, James. They have got no grip at all. Yeah. They're like... They've got pretty beefy tread on them. Oh, I nearly went then. It's oh not working. God. They do not Folks, want to give me any things we do to bring you this footage. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't done this, so... Oh, yeah, we, it just we... goes to a collapse and stops. Does it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, we... It's a single track. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. That must be filled in in one of them cabins then. Is that, let's go and have a look at what this stuff is, if it's backfill modern stuff or collapse or if it's here. old fill. Let me have a look. Wait, see what Adam actually makes of it. <laughs> I think it's gonna be, well, it's a long way to come down to have to come back up with this slippy well, stuff. It's nasty. We can see from here, folks, can't we? Oh, there we are, there we are. Really nasty. Oh. Torch is no longer doing turbo charge mode because we have been down here for a good few hours yet again. <laughs> What do you reckon? Do you know who's next door and all that tip was there? Yeah, that's it. With the mill it. ends. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, this has come off on the wagons, look. They've lost this. So, folks, I think we found one of the old inclines going to the old lower levels of the mine, which has long been abandoned. Yeah, that's been tipped in from above. Yeah. You think about it, Adam, that we went around the corner at the top here. Yeah. That's that cabin. But there's no mill ends in it. There's no saw marks in this. Oh, it's still the same stuff, I reckon. Yeah, I'm gonna look at it. There's a lot of mill ends on the side here. Yeah. Where they were. There's no saw marks in that at all. You are? No saw marks in it at all. So it obviously goes into a big chamber here. Yeah, it's all collapsed here, it's all come in the side. Yeah. Right, that's, that's a pretty cool... Um... <laughs> right, I'm going to slide all my way back up now. Well, we don't need okay. to watch and struggle back up there. Here we go, boys! <laughs> <laughs> An old signaling device, isn't it? Yeah, the pulley here, down the bottom of the incline, signal to the winder. Yeah. So pull that, and this will obviously... <laughs> Wow. You see that? You yeah, really yeah. See and that would give you an idea. So how many times it lifted was a number of yeah. one, stop, two, go, three, slow. I think not four is. So how cool is that? Oh, well, we did. Wow. Oh, the tracks run behind it, that's why. Look at these big beams here, people. It's so, huge, big old oak beams, probably. So there was a big, big, you know that wind that's down the bottom of the incline that's been used for pulling them um, wagons around the corner? Yeah. I reckon that was built for this. It's only a low ceiling. It looks like it was a single track. Some more air. What are they air doors, do you think? They must have been no, on there. These are the um, two stands for the brine uh, the regulators. You reckon? Yeah, you see the insulator on there? Yeah, yeah. And so there, you reckon this was electric then? Two wires. This was a, so where they would have gone, they might have been sat up here, they've just chucked them off. Right, let's have a quick look, see if we can see anything left of it. I don't know where this is here. Well, yeah, I mean, it's definitely on top there, look. Is that the wooden floor in there? Yeah. Yeah, it's that old wooden floor. So looking at it... Wow. Well, can't really get up there, but... Yeah. Got the tracks, look, the old tracks come to an end there. Dog. <laughs> Right, Vina in a carton. Forest fruit flavour. 1990s. 250ml. Yeah. 
forest fruit flavour. Yes. <laughs> By appointment, Her Majesty the Queen, suppliers of Lucasaid and Shoulder Special Beer products. Oh, sounds wonderful. I want some. Can I have some? <laughs> well, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? No, I want the fact. Give the fact to me. Stop denying me of the fact. I love the fact. The, uh, the sleepers are just completely rotted away. That's really interesting. I'd love to know which bit that incline went up to. Because... Uh, yeah. So we might be in line down there, because we, we explored the, um, those levels down there, the top levels of Mine of Vern, but didn't know any of this was here. Yeah. So we would have come through here if we'd have gone that way. So That's a pretty here. cool photo of that, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we go. Yeah, so that's where we just were around the corner there, people. So we, we basically went the other side of that. Small the insulators here for the cabling. Oh, telephone, you just don't know. Does this. Um, and it goes off around here, does it? Yeah. Just goes off again, people. I wonder whether this was... So they're obviously using this up to a point, weren't they? Um, pretty late on, perhaps. Obviously abandoned this incline a long time ago. Quite a lot of soot marks appear. More evidence of all the uh, fire they used to have underground here. In the uh, steam days. All right, I'll, uh, I'll lead the way. Let's have a mooch. I'm guessing this might join up with the incline around the corner there. Weaves its way around, a bit of a collapse here. When they say there's miles and miles of tramways and tracks under this mine, they're certainly not joking. Oh, there we go. So we were just through there looking at that incline. It's just through there. Here comes Bryn the mine dog. You can hear him coming miles away, he's jing jingling away. Before any of you guys comment on, why are you bringing my dog down the mine? He never wanders too far away from us, to be fair. And he's got his own lights, so you can see where he's going. <laughs> wow, this does go off. I wasn't at all expecting this to go as far as it goes. So we've got another edit down there, look. Look at that. Come on, Bryn, this way. Oh, wait. Here comes the dog. No. <laughs> oh, see, they've gone the uh, opposite way. That was a deviation line on the back of the That's it, yeah. I right, followed the tunnel around and it definitely came round this way. Here comes the dog. All right, Bryn. Bounding along. There he is. Yeah, I, I just love the fact that all the sleepers are just completely rotted away. Been held in by all the dirt. It's just the tracks have just been held together by dirt, I think, yeah. There is, I mean, there is some, but I think mean, the, the moisture down here is just, yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's one there, look, a sleeper surviving. <laughs> it carries on going, so I mean, I have no idea how far it goes. But they were pulling water out of here, or they were throwing air down here in this pipe. Oh, wow. Jesus. Yeah. Right, bear with me, folks. Let me just go and get the big torch out, because I think we need to get the big torch. Right, folks. We're recording again. Now we've got some big torches on the go. Right, it's all right. <laughs> I've got this new torch and it's got like five settings. Right, that's that one. That's that one. So there we go. There we are. <laughs> Mind your eyes. <laughs> <laughs>
So we just come through that tunnel there, people. Burn. And then uh, that's for some serious light at it for once. We've been able to light up a place like this. <laughs> Although I am going to get third degree burns on my hand in a minute. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty impressive, that, folks. Yeah, that's well cool. Let's have a look down here before my hands go on fire. Looks like we've got to refilm everything now. <laughs> yeah, we've got to refilm everything. Now we've got some uh, animals of torches. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> Everything's second hand apart from the Marauder torch. I bought that one, paid that off on eBay PayPal thing, which was handy. Yeah, wow, look at that. Look at that, people. Jeez. Chances are we've been down there. Wait, right, can you see just, that down yeah, there, folks? Just, so. Well, you can just about see it, so it might be hard for you guys. Yeah, down yeah, the bottom of that down tip. The bottom of tip. Go to my left a bit. Yeah. The torch oh, down. Yeah, yeah. No, no, there, it's black. Yeah. Right there, James. There, oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, see that slit there, folks? We were standing above that on down there earlier on. The roof would come down. Yeah. So that, that blue pipe coming up. That blue pipe goes down there and under there. So, we were on that level before. Uh, well, no, actually, <laughs> we're on the level before, folks, but I don't know whether level we're going to include that in the video. So, that's the first level down from the mill level. So, that's where the uh, Hunter's Tunneling Machine level is. We're going to call it the Hunter's Tunneling Machine level. And this is uh, cut, just a bit of a... That cuts across the incline, that does. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at the sut in there, eh? Yeah, this is the thing. This has got non-inch. Wow. This must be done later on. But that there, it's got like, that engine sut in it. Wow. So where did this chimney... Where is this chimney? <laughs> uh, oh, no, we were saying that. Look at, the, look at the filth in here. This is just as dirty. Yeah, but this is... Oh, big gap, yeah. big gap. Big gap in the roof. Oh, yeah. Wow. You might want to take that off turbo, otherwise you're going to get your hand burned. Just oh, click it twice again. something to warm me up. Right, folks, this might be a good opportunity to do a quick comparison against two torches. Against the uh, Marauder X2. Is it Marauder? Let's have a look. Sorry, the Olight Marauder. So it's the Marauder 2 against the Imulat MS06, which I recently purchased off uh, the Imulat MS06, which I recently purchased off the Bay of E second hand. So much smaller. This isn't a torch review, by the way, but it is and it isn't a torch review, by the way, because uh, this is the first time I've tried them. So let's have a look. First of all, I'll do the the um, Let's do the emulet because if I hold it too long, it goes on fire. <laughs> right. So the video you're seeing now is my head torch and the video light. It's not quite enough. So if I put the emulet on, that's the emulet on the highest setting. If I put it on turbo, so that's on turbo in this huge cabin, this late cabin. Just give you an idea what it can do. So my hand is about to go on fire. So let's turn that off. Now let's do a quick comparison with the Marauder 2. So that was a 22,000 lumen torch, and this is a 14,000 lumen torch. So it doesn't get as hot. I got a feeling the amulet is slightly brighter, but not by much, you know, people. Not by much. Plus this has got a handy little square thing that it does. Doesn't get as hot and it lasts longer. Both really cool torches, people. But uh, yeah, the emulet uh, <laughs> it just gets outrageously warm. <laughs> right, we'll leave the emulet on for the minute. Right. Still in that big cabin, folks. With, uh, that's one heck of a place. As you can see, one hell of a place. Use the emulet again. Wear the batteries out on that first. Uh, 
Now, it does get warm, which is I don't like about it. It could do with some sort of handle. <laughs> you are? <laughs> I'll just get her a photo. Okay, come on, mate. See this dam that's built here? Up the well, right, let's get the other torch on. Got a selection of torches going on here. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get this one. This one doesn't burn your hand. Oh, wow, look at that. Cut the sharp curvis, this chain that just left it in place. Got a pipe there. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not supposed to be giving water out, is it? Yeah, but there. Let's have a quick look. If you go with that water, you sink where the water line is in the chamber. Oh wow, that's still holding back water, is it? No, no, but you can see how it did. If you go up there, you can see, see it there, folks. It's a valve there. This big wall here, look. Look at that. Look at that water there. Some pipes come out the bottom. Looks like we're using this chamber. Oh, good God, wow, look at that. Look at that, folks. Maybe you can see that. Let's just. Uh... So, this was a huge reservoir by the looks of it. Look at that. See the mark around the edge there, look. You see the marks around the edge? Can you see it? There's like a tide mark around the edge. Huge water reservoir. That's really cool. That is still a bit of it in there. Looks a bit mingy, mind you. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, water reservoir. Let's just get down here without breaking my neck. Oh, good me. Oh, we're down. One sec. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So imagine the amount of water they had stored in there. Wow. Uh, it looks like it was full for a very, very, very long time until maybe one of these pipes gave out. Well, so there's, there's pipes in here, look. Ah, there you go, look. See that there? I reckon that probably gave way and then we drained it all out. That's pretty cool. Underground reservoir. We'll keep following this round. It still keeps going. Tracks come out here, look. Sort of, uh, Major derailment occurred here. They put the rails out. Yeah, just look this, in that. I wonder why they've done that. This used to go outside. And tipped, uh, it's not a collapse that's been tipped. The nature's been really rammed in by the machine. So I think this is below where the shack the granite you did with. Oh, right, okay. Just may as well have a quick look while we're here, folks. Um, it smells weird under here. It's probably all this wood rotting away. Yeah, look at that, that's a pretty recent collapse, that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a shame, isn't it? Probably would have been a way out at one point. Doesn't look too old either. Yeah. That uh, big room we just looked at with a pool in it, it was pretty interesting. <laughs> That'd be pretty intimidating if that was still full of water. Wonder how long that took to fill up. Quite wet here. That's where we've just come from. Bit of collapse there. Yeah. Vent definitely venturing. Did not know this tunnel went this far. Well, we weren't expecting to see any of this today, that's for sure. I think we were more than expecting just to see those two edits that we found. Which may or may not be in this video, you might have already seen them. Probably be part of the Diffus or the uh, Latin Boyd video series that I do if you watch those. This video I've got a feeling we might put on the. Uh, this one's definitely going to be on the um, Minor Vern. Oh, yet another um, sort of. Is still got water in it, this one? Yeah. Wow, look at that there, it's all there. Uh, it's completely rotted out. Take your torch off a second, Joe. That's it. See the water still coming out of there. 
Wow. Yeah. Which one's hit that? The valve open. Hook. Oh. So they were obviously using this for later, weren't they? Look at that, it's a modern pipe. Now, that explains why this pipe at the other end's got water coming out of it. Yeah, it's still running through, still running through this, even though that's completely corroded away. Have a look over there. I reckon that goes into different. You reckon? No, I'm just going to it. Bloody hell. Ready? Yeah. There we are. It goes right up there, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. I reckon that is as close as you're going to get to getting into, into Diffus. You can see the water line along the edge as well, where it's been coming up. Let's just put the big torch on. That's a big reservoir, isn't it? I wouldn't do it for just a short tunnel. But see how the walls are black. Yeah, yeah, I can see the end there, folks. I'm, I'm really tempted to go in there and have a look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> Wow, it does go off, doesn't it? It goes right off. You fancy it, James? Not really, no, but if you want to have a... This is deep here, mate. It's really deep. Oh, I'm already wet. <laughs> <laughs> you love it. That isn't that bad. Let me get out of the way. Leave me back here and I'm going to have a reach. Right, he's going for it. Because oh, I don't know if I can get back in on the other side. I don't know if I can go there or not. He's going for it, people. This he's sacrificing I'm... himself for the greater good. <laughs> This is the whole reason why I wanted to come in this level, was to see where it all went. I was told it doesn't go really far. Well, it does actually go. We've gone quite a ways in, haven't we, already? Much further than I thought this did actually go. Wow. I don't know if it does go far, because you think about it, this has been flooded all the way to the top level here. You can see the marks on there, you won't see the nobody light. But you can see the marks, folks, of where this was. Thing is, I go over the top, back out. See the uh, black marks on the edges? You can see, the, see the lines there, look, see where the see water level's been going to. Right oh yeah, you can see more. Well, I mean, try not to look up, don't we, really? It's a scaling bar. It's down, just... Yeah, it might fetch all of it down, that's the only problem. No, it's just, you can see it. <laughs> yeah. But then it acts hell holding it. Acting yeah. Back, shoots back, and they shoot back, but to be honest with you, Right. It'll, it'll probably hit that wall and then this will drop off. But I imagine it stay. This piece will drop out. Maybe the bit here. Right, we'll come back to you in a minute, folks. Just wait until you. Put this in, I'll see if you get over it. This strap is miles too long. I like it around the uh, head, but this is ridiculous. It's just. That'll be better there, I think. Right. Ready. All right, there you are. Fucking GoPro in it, isn't he? Right, okay, that recording. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, off we go. Gonna get soaking wet now. Here we go, for the greater good. Oh, and the water's in me wellies. Oh, it's cold. Ooh. That is cold. <laughs> There we go, right. A lot of water, isn't it? A lot of storage. Interesting, never been in a tunnel like this before where it's all brown. It's gonna stop, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'll go back. Oh, that's interesting. 
that formation there. Isn't that fantastic. Anyway, let's have a. I think these are purely uh, explorative tunnels. Let's see, yeah. The site isn't bad actually. I'm wondering why they've never done any chamber in here. Maybe this was a, a faulty measure. But then again, if it was really good quality site down the bottoms and depths of Minor Fern, why would they consider going to the effort of doing this? All I can say is that this must have been purely out of interest to the company for any future. A few worthy explorers been in here. Relatively new footprints on the floor. There's no dogs been in here because obviously they got to get over the wall. <laughs> and I like Bryn to join me on these things. I'm not uh, the sort of person to push him over things. I'm pushies look like that. He's a very, very good Royal Canine. He's done this from the six month old. And, uh, it's nice to have him on. Uh, the ceiling's coming down quite low here. Also we're in a fault zone because it looks really shite here. Hmm. This is going to go to a dead end and stop. I think this is the end. That's interesting. Look at that. BJ. Whatever that means. Yeah, they've... Uh, and there we go. Now we know what's up here now. I'll just do a run back. It's up to my brother if he uses the footage or not. Probably see some nasty roofs. I've probably not seen on the way in on the way back now. Particularly this part. It's an interesting formation there. Let's just lock that on. Look at that. Anyway. Kind of surreal seeing all these <laughs> black stains getting higher up the walls as you descend the tunnel. What I can say, people, you look at the ground, this to me looks like it's a lot of the peat or soil plant from the surface that's obviously pushed itself down for all the cracks and fissures in the rock to lay on the floor. In. Now, how long this is used for a water tank for, I'm not sure, but and how much the flow of water is in here to enable such a build-up, I'm not sure, but this explains the black staining on the sides. It's the all the heather and plant life um, decomposing, coming through with the water, see in the winter, and I'll see staining the walls. There's some more air fittings on there, look. See how the air pipes are. Two and a half inch. I thought they were obviously going to go somewhere, but there we go. The Black Lagoon. So, this is where my head is right now with the camera. Is Okay, gentlemen, here is the GoPro. Someone take it off me, please. <laughs> it's still filming, is it? Yeah. I'll come over now. Here it comes. <laughs> Look at the state of the wall coming out like that now. Oh, 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 oh
Is that yeah, successful? Really interesting up there. <laughs> Mr. GoPro, go home. Yeah. Well, we might be using this for five minutes because the feel the pocket cameras let us down. Oh, that's it. Let's go then. Um, we try and light that chamber back up back there because I'll be honest with you. Do you want to go down that tip? Because we've got time to, haven't we? It's three o'clock now. Well, it was half three before, so it's probably just after four now. So right, yeah. Seven. So, so. You got three hours. So that's what I think it is. Hands still yet? Yeah. So the, the draw end here. Mm. So the old shot hole for the water. Later on, they're in the end of the steel. It's only a flat tip. Wow. Some put a carbide tip here. They put the water down the centre of the drill. This obviously snapped off and been chucked on the floor, but <laughs> give you an idea. Before they went to square, yeah. these are the first Holman drills. Put it back in there. Cool. People will see them. And they're fitting there. So a lot of those up there. There's, they've obviously recovered the pipes. You lose that. They've put a slit in it with a gas torch. Or a hacksaw, I'm not sure, to recover the pipe because these, I'll see these, and do these will damage the threads, so it's easy to slip these off and get them off the pipe that way. So you can reuse the pipe. So obviously, weren't up here that long. You seen the hat on there? Don't know, yeah. How long have you been standing there for while I was up there? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I was more fiddling around in the bow trying to put the, take the GoPro, sort of get my pocket camera charged when it's reverted the old school GoPro. <laughs> well, I may as well have a quick walk down here while we're here because it's uh, this is the end of the line. It's uh, while we're here, I may as well film it. <laughs> so, uh, it's the end of the line, folks. Well and truly the end of the line. Oh, what's it? Some sort of uh, graffiti. Oh. Yeah. Oh, modern graffiti. 2021. Not really great, is it? To be honest with you, not sort of thing you want to see. Yeah, this is as far as they got. Oh. Any candle marks? You normally see something. It's a little bit of telltale marks. See how old the mine is, but. Yeah, it's doing what I mean, exploratory, I guess, wasn't it? Yeah, 18. How far does that go up there then, Joe? Does it carry on going, does it? It's a long way, that does. Does it? Does so it's it? like £18 per yard, fish bite. Oh, what's it? Yeah, £18 per yard, flat bottom, fish bite that, with a piece of slate stuck to it. <laughs> it's rusted on the um, Not like seashells, don't need rust formations. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's just on the side. Let's pull the track out and. Yeah, yeah. it there. And there. Uh, it's just been forgot about. See all the drops down here that used to. Looks like granite. I bet it's just from down. Try from our granite quarry. Old Manog. <laughs> they obviously mix it with cement to build the base of that wall in there. Wow. That's quite smart, isn't it? I've got that. That is wall. pretty cool, isn't it? That. I think it'd be good photo of that. Did you get them? Um... Oh, boom. Mm. Right, we'll stop recording there and join you in a minute, hopefully back on. Ah, oh, torch. Thank you, Wakey. No, it's not in there, isn't it? No, it's snapped off. That's the thick bit. That's the bit you twist. Yeah. Um, so, one end long, one short. So this here would have been there. Yeah. The other end would have been probably there. Yeah. So what you do is you turn it, you start it by spinning this, and then once you've got drilling, you grab that and turn that. So that's your starter drill. And once you've got a good all that depth, you turn it around this drill, then will be probably down to about your boots, James. Wow. And to start it, you'd obviously grab the shaft here, use the weight of this as a bit of a fly reel. And once you've got it in so far, you turn it around, then you grab that, and then you really won't be drilling the hole, because I don't know how they work, because they're only a flat end. Well, I don't know how they clean the hole out. They must have had um, like a wire with a flat end on it for pulling the dust out. 
And then obviously off again because I know Crazy it's drill, all, unless, all hand done. That's why you don't get. Unless you can get done. the stuff out of your drill and then get the hot. Lumber up there with some sort of thing next to it, look. See that lumber? Like a, like a bit of wire. Oh no, it's a wedge next to it with some wire on it. So that's nice to see, isn't it? Mm. You don't see these in my So they're the hand ones, yeah? yeah the hand you, drills. You don't see them. I mean, yeah. you don't see them. You just don't see them. Yeah, it's scrapped. Well, just too early, isn't it? Well, who wants to use that when you've got one that works on air? Well, this is it. <laughs> Different times, as they say. <laughs> yeah. So that's that incline just to the left there, folks, yeah. and we've just come wow. from that tunnel. Wow coming back so we went round the other side of that incline and then down there so we saw this bit of track from the bit of video you saw earlier on so uh, we're just going back down this way when you can see the marks in the in the tracks there for the double flange wheels still in the grounds look see them still worn in the ground bit of chain there Get a good. Sometimes you can get it to reflect the roof. That's it. Somebody behind me would be better, wouldn't they? As long as it moves the light off, or. No, it's not doing it there. I did before, I could get a reflection in the water. Oh, that, there you go. Is that it? It's not really picking it up, I suppose. Not get, not get what I want here. Do you want to try lighting it from above? You could do. Nah, I've lost it. Yeah. You get it sometimes, you point on torches at it. Maybe just because the rest of us here are pointing torches at it. We were no, it, it, you've got to catch it just right, it's been easy doing it. Well, that's actually uh, these marks where these uh, flanges ran, it's just rock hard, so that's, that's old. It's been quite a dirty mine this for a long time down here. A lot of mud everywhere. An awful lot of mud. Yeah. Just abandoned this piece of track. Well it only went to that incline, didn't it? Interesting. These hooks obviously must have carried the uh, the cabling. Carried the cabling to that old incline motor. What's that? Yeah, Rotted away. Oh, you can feel the air coming through here, can't you? For that real edge, eh? Yeah. The head's going to be coming on really. Yeah, the water coming on it's just corroded it away, look, folks. Here we go, look Might at that. Look. Yeah. So narrow that bit of track there, there goes. Yeah, right. Back up, back up. Because you didn't see this is the side how thick that track there is. And that one. From there yeah. down to there. Look at that. Completely corroded. <laughs> Literally the top of the rail's just just gone. Completely gone. Yeah. This all the water coming off in it, just rotting it out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, folks, all there. Uh, we've already filmed this, so I'll turn off for the moment. We'll meet you again in a moment. Place, place of interest here. Some dodgy chamber, is it? Does it go in, does it? Yeah, tell me this piece here, look. Yeah. <laughs> Stay there, John. Yeah, well, I don't take... Door. What? You know we went past there, it didn't go into it, did it? Yeah. What? This chamber goes right back to where we were. Yeah. Huh. Has it been blocked off? Right. Right, I'm going to have to turn this off to go through there, folks. Right, folks. Here we will look up. There's been a collapse here, look. 
Uh, it looks like it was a while ago. Just come through there. But the dogs just worked out that it's uh, not a good place to be. Yeah, it's sketchy in here, isn't it? Wow. So we've just been around the corner, around the corner. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that there. Some old tunnel down there, look, folks. Look at that. Oh, the place just doesn't end, does it? Oh, look up there. Look up there. Some pins at the top. Yeah. So that there, there, people. See the sky. That is. Uh, we're just out there to the left. I think is the winding house, the triple trap winding house. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is, isn't it? I wonder where that goes. Can you see that? Yeah. Wow. That's a really big tunnel. That is, isn't it? Wow. All right, one sec. I don't like filming when I'm moving around on this stuff. It's just not good. One sec, we'll come back in a sec, folks. All right, here's another tunnel in there, people. Jesus. <laughs> See, at the end there, there's a wall of deads. Oh. Well, let's just get back up out of here. It's a bit sketchy down here. So I don't like filming the camera when uh, when I'm on the move, but it uh, needs must and all that. Adam's gone off in a different direction, so I'll go off in this direction. All solo mission today. Well, wow. wow, look at that old bucket there. That's cool. Where does this one go then? Looks like it maybe faces out to be honest. It's quite a side up there. It's a bit old pipe there, look at that. An old pipe. Mm, looks like a deep bloody hole. A pile of deads on the left. Oh. That doesn't look good, does it? Some, uh, I don't know what that is. But, uh, that's strange. Look at this. It's weird, isn't it? It's like a sump or something. Maybe they were following some sort of vein and just give up. Very weird. A wagon axle there, look. You can see that. Rotten wood down here, probably not a wagon, just left here. It's all been smoking. Well, that might be part of a pipe actually. Well, see there the old railway line tracks used to be. Oh, bloody head torches blow is gone. Been underground for quite a while today people we didn't think we were going to find this that's pretty cool look at that look at that that's pretty cool that's one heck of a collapse so obviously went under there somehow long since not happened and long since gone right adam's gone off in a different direction he's gone off over that way somewhere hopefully he's uh Dug out the GoPro and done a bit of filming. Yeah. Let's get up out of here. Not too bad a lot of this here. Yeah. Let's uh, venture back into the tunnel system that was. Can you bear with me? Right. I'm not going back through that hole with the camera on, so we'll see you on the other side, people. Right, folks, that's where we just come from. <laughs> We're uh, going back. Yes. Head torch is just... Uh, the inside burn out. Torch yeah. is on its way. James, 
Modern What's that? Fuse, modern fuse, safety fuse. Look. Is it? Yeah, see the inside all burnt out. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so it burns cold, cold inside it. I think that is. Alright. Oh, Tidy. Plastic coated, but the black and that black bin. <laughs> it's got off. I think there's some more down here somewhere. Some of it's set up all fuses, isn't it? Yeah. And then the water pipe. Yeah. That's an air fitting though, isn't it? Yeah, on, on blue pipe. Yeah. They, well, they, you know it's in the shed, they've got a lot of that going on in there, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, like a can of Stella. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So can well, so you grab it in case it's full, bloody hell, it's hot, man. <laughs> 2010. June, June 2010. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been down here 13 years. Is that right? Yeah. No. 10. 10. It's only been down there 13. Yeah, 13. I love how that's full of water. Lovely cup of tea, lad. <laughs> oh, you have to go down for a brew, you know. <laughs> oh, nice cup of tea. Cool. That's that to uh, add it out to the workshops, folks. Another way in, potential way in. If you want to wade through, well, it's only about half a metre deep, isn't it? Ah. Oh. So you put the rails through it and then knock them clips down onto them to tighten the rails up. <laughs> I've already filmed all this under here. I can't remember what we filmed and what we didn't, so. I thought they just slid them on, that was it. But yeah. You knock the, the flap down onto the, the rails. Is that what? Oh no, these are wooden sleepers, aren't they? These? Yes, people, if you're an American person watching this, in the UK we call them sleepers, not, not ties. I keep saying that. They're going to ground and they go to sleep. Yeah, sleepers. Yeah, so there we are. Bagheera pan. That's obviously some sort of filtration device that didn't yeah. save many miners of doom. Yeah, probably part of a Hoover or something. You see all the old um, insulation from the old cable. Yeah. They've uh, sacrificed. Is that a drive chain off one of the locomotives? I think. Uh, line co, I think. Rocker shoe, a pullback yeah. chain, the bucket. Another mm -hmm. roller. Yeah, Another yeah. incline roller. Yeah. With a copper band on the end of it. Oh, put interesting. a copper ring on it, and obviously it was wearing away at the edge of the roller, so put that on to stop the cable Eating it. wandering off. Then this cable here is what they used to pull the loc the wagons through, maybe at one point. It was, yeah. The master box is there, came back on. Yeah. I love this, this track that's higher up, because it's obviously a much, try much older try track. Try and get this mad view. On the ground, get a photo. Oh, I see the reflection now. Can't see bugger all on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's just high, high, you get it. Needs a very slow setting to get that. So, what I mean, you need a camera like with a. Yeah, the phones are good, they ain't that good. I can't see that. What's that? Right, folks, there's the old mills over there. This is just a little bit of extra video. We're just wandering over here and I found this. Look at this. Oh, I found this. It's probably been here hundreds of years. I don't know. It looks like another little uh, water course. Some isolators there. Look, with some uh, cabling. I love how the reeds and everything are down here. Really boggy, though. And. Uh, yeah, it goes back, but you can see. Uh, let's get this light on high power. Doesn't want to. Yeah, you can see in there some old ties. Yeah. A bit of daylight at the end there. Yeah, there's a bit of daylight down the end. That's quite interesting though, isn't it? Another tunnel that goes off. <laughs> Another one that goes off, the incline goes above us. Look at this big old isolator, look at that. That's a big old isolator there, that's pretty cool. The telephone wire goes under there for some reason. Yeah. Just a random little discovery. Some old uh, telephone cables. Because they did have uh, communications up here. So let's come to the bottom of this incline and have a look. We've never really looked at any of this up here. We've been around all the sheds and everything. 
Let's have a look at the base of this old incline. Very much on the hit list of places to go up and have an explore. Not today though. That's that incline. There's some photographs of this and they've got uh, wooden panels going up with the rails mounted on top, like quite industrial looking. And this is the, uh, the bit which is all filled up with rubbish. It's such a shame because there's some lovely pictures of this, it was really nice. And it's all gone. All been filled in by the quarry people I just imagine. Bridge has seen better days. Let's go back up and have a quick wonder at this building. Telegraph pole. Fucking absolutely stunning weather, isn't it? Flipping heck. What's going on? All pipes everywhere. This old building here, probably some sort of locomotive shed or something, I don't know. Let's have a look. Just an old building by the looks of it, could have been. It's on the railway line in it, so it might have been somewhere for the locomotives to stay. You don't know. Because this goes round there. Yeah. Ooh. Metal work down there, look. And there's a tunnel down there that's collapsed. Remains of an old skip wagon, look. But yeah, there's some photos of this, and this is all just being completely filled in. It goes down another two meters, probably. And there's like a special water course that went here. The water went in. That's all gone. And then the track from this quarry went up, then back down and went on this side, I think, on down there, and weaved its way around there to the incline. It didn't come along here. I don't know what this was, another tramway for something else. But that little tunnel does go through, you can walk through it. It's uh, pretty cool. God, it's boiling. Skip wagon there, look. Rubbish. Has it still got the wheels on it? It's sitting quite high, isn't it? Still got the wheels on it? Let's have a look. No, unfortunately it hasn't. No one's rubbed the wheels off it. <laughs> And that's always the way. All right, folks, I'm gonna... Adam, gonna... Adam and Matt are gonna meet us down here. I'm gonna walk down here on this old trap bed, see what's about. But he said, don't go through the tunnel, it's sketch. So, uh, we won't go through the tunnel. What we might do. I've got my helmet with me so we'll be safe. <laughs> we'll have a look. Just yet another one of the many, many random little railway lines and places on this place. It's just miles and miles of tracks. I mean, there's no tracks here now, but it was. I bet the tracks are still down there, down there for the old incline railway. The, on the other side, they're still there. We filmed all that. You've probably seen that in the video. I bet the tracks are still under this, to be honest with you. Because on the other side, they are. Well, I guess they've taken them up this side, unless we have a quick dive under here, see if we can see them. Is there anything under there? No. Let's have a quick look here, see if there's anything. Sort of looks like a rail. No, unfortunately not. Let's have a look here. Some uh, yeah. oh, look at that. That's uh, some sketchy looking roof in here, people. Yes, I won't go too close, but I'd like to have a look at this. Some of the old roofing holding the roof up look. Yeah, that's that's not good. But you still see the tracks there, look. Tracks are still in there. 
it's still present. So, uh, yeah, but look at the size of these beams. Look at the walls. They're stuck to walls. That's pretty cool, that is. Look at the other side. We'll have a quick look at the other side. But yeah, this is not very nice looking. Let's get away from here. A few more winters and that's, uh, that's coming in, isn't it? All right, well, uh, see you on the other side. Right, people, here just there. Um, I've just walked down the wall here. Um, so this is where the railway from, the tramway from my Naverni, it feels like it should go along there, but it didn't. It went under the bridge here and come down here and the water flowed down the left-hand side. This has all been built up probably about three meters. It's all just, they've just thrown all the crap in from up here. And there you go, there's an idea of how <laughs> the top of a telegraph pole, and then you can see the other one over there. So we'll just follow this down a bit. We'll join up, we'll see, you'll see where the tramway went in a minute, we carry on down here. We'll find out if Adam, what, what that was, you'll probably know what that was up there. But uh, let's have a look. It has actually been about 10 minutes since I was up there. I've been charging the point, charger cables in the pocket camera, loading my stuff. Oh, I think it takes so long when you're filming everything. <laughs> All right, it's a bit windy here. You can see the uh, telephone wire is still in. You can see this thing here. Yeah, there's quite a lot of cabling on that. Yeah, the railway line's down here somewhere. Whether the tracks are still here, I don't know, but you can see the big isolators on there. You see, there's a big old copper cable still on it. Look, they've uh, they've taken all them off. But yeah, we understand there's a track came through here around here I don't know if it was quite far down here or what but uh, it completely goes away now because the old uh, railway hallway look at this <laughs> it's, uh, some uh, telephone gel connectors look splice some cables together copper thieves haven't had that yet have they give it time it's a bit of the uh oh, that's the bottom there but these big boulders weren't here so the tram line went through here but this is where they've made the new road the new road goes through here it's just to get up here yeah so this is uh the railway came around here Yeah, you can see the wall here. Went through here. And, uh, I have actually filmed this bit here. So uh, we'll leave it there on this piece of video. See you in a minute. All right, people, I just, uh, What's that mic power? Okay, you hear me people, there we go, yes. One second, just turn you around. All right, so we just walked from the shed. This is the old powerhouse down here, which is still active. We have videoed that. Oh yeah. So this is uh, connected to the national grid, but you can see the power cables coming out the side. They obviously must have connected up to here and went that way. Same connections on all the other posts up here, so that's quite interesting. So, but we didn't come up this way last time. Thought it'd be interesting to come and have a quick nose up here before we go. Uh, it's really windy, so Put the microphone on. Oh wow, look at that corrosion. Extreme corrosion, look. Oh, look at that, completely rotted. Go on here, that's a bit of the axle there, look. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that, we're right above where the, uh, we were over there earlier on today, people. Going down some of those addicts down there and stuff. 
So, oh right, yeah, protector. That'd be on the end like that. That's yeah. How much the wood's all gone? Wow. You know. Amazing how the steel survived and the wood's gone, eh? Wow. Just left here. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, you can see over there, yeah. Yeah. And there was a drum down to it. See the drum in the grass over there. Yeah, oh, you can see a pipe up there. That's supposed to be the new pipe coming down to the turbine from up nice there. A railway that length on the mountain top, all the rails going to the mill. Yeah. Just as, as well as it going from the incline back into the quarry, there was that too. You didn't go this way. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? An old building over there. I remember walking all the way out there into the middle of nowhere, and that's all gone. <laughs> yeah, this is all filled in here, wasn't it? They've just dug it all out. This is all tip we're standing on now, is it? Wow. Um, 100 foot down, it's all from bottom. Yeah. Below that, it was this level zero. This level zero, obviously, started to tip. And Underneath the this, yeah. And obviously, that's been bowed and tipped on the flat. And the mine of blue ball tipped and tipped on the flat. Cool. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, one day all this will be gone. Gradually taking it all away. It'll be on a road somewhere or somewhere else. So I don't like using a camera. It's a weird little den. <laughs> What's this? Is it? Toilet. Is it a toilet? Really dodgy roof. Now look in there. Some steps down into the latrine. Oh, you won't, people won't see anything and I think, but. I'm not gonna. Oh, stinks. Oh, Being used by the locals as a shitting dog. Oh, stinks. Oh, oh. Some ancient pipe. <laughs> this building still had a roof on it. Oh. Had? Yeah. Where the heck does this bring us down? Oh, well, go down the power. Oh, yeah. It's been all in here. It's been all in here. Yeah. Testing out. Where they built out the block to have a fine. Yeah. Those slabs still on there, I was the tramway onto. Always makes me how much metal they find in there. Wow. Sounds like the uh Water coming down there today. The turbine not generating. Don't know, it doesn't look like there's any water coming from it. Can you tell from there? It's really old uh, hydroelectric, it is people down there. Well, I don't know, I tried to Google some info about it and there's nothing really online. That place there. It's uh, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's still an active turbine, folks. It's uh, still generating electric scenes to power cables, still generating power. You can see the pipe there going up the hill. So, there's obviously some sort of water, water course up there. And yeah, there's big old cables coming off the side of it, so it must have uh, generated DC for all the uh, quarry as well. Yeah. Two um, little bank or saddle banks called Sanford and Skinner used to pull the slate out to this. And they got diesel and sold them to Penrhyn, whoever they used. So it's done with steam power, horse power, hand power, Russian power. <laughs> and a variety of powers. And now <laughs> to get the slate here. Look at it, see how they're taking all the time to stack this by hand? Yeah. You get, get the rush. 
Yep, Crazy, I isn't it? Chuck it. So all they've been built up as they've had to. Wow, so it hasn't just been thrown off. No, no, it's a hard job, typically. Yeah. Yeah. The dog. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's got miles ahead of us there. Yeah. Yeah, so you get up to there, you need a 4 before that's pretty capable of getting up here, don't you? It's quite a steep bit of road, this, people. It's not for the faint-hearted to get up there in any old car. You need a... Uh... You are? Yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, quite a steep road up there. It's the Mine of Earn link. I'm pretty sure we, we come down here, there's a sprinter van coming down there, the people that have done the work to the fence, <laughs> which is quite funny. How they got that thing up there, who knows? So there, that's the Zip World starter area. Just imagine it's pretty busy up here with the old Zip World lorry on a weekend. Maybe even on a weekday, but who knows? That looks like a pretty deep pond, that does. That looks pretty deep, that, doesn't it? There you can see, uh, try to find it over there in the distance. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I bet that's fairly deep. It's a big old, uh, Water storage area, isn't it? No, deep in this Do you reckon they funnel this off down to the um, the power plant down there? What's it called? Probably do. Might have tunnel. Might, tunnel. Might be an underground yeah. tunnel that goes to that. Uh... Fine wine up there. I'd like to see that one day. So you just sat up there. Yeah. I've been to see that. We're right by the. Uh... Yeah, they, well, we're right by the sheds here, aren't we? The, where they have the. Yeah, the, the existing quarry people at the moment have got the sheds just around the corner. Yeah. It's never happened, or it did, but they took it away. They're very high expectations of the quarry, and they've come off. Those tips are big, aren't they, over the back? Look. Huge. It's of, just uh, big rock. Granite have had to shift. It gets a slight, haven't they? So mind-boggling yeah. it. The amount they've had to move. Yeah, Dog. Now, yeah. Wow. One day, hopefully, eh? There's a big pit over there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. There's a big pit there somewhere, and they're just going down. Big business for crush slate, yeah. yeah it's a very busy river. That's definitely going down to that power station, isn't it? There's a hydroelectric power station down. You reckon? All right. So where did that winch up there go then? Really? Crikey. They're getting desperate to get rid of the stuff, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, did they have uh, blondelins in here then, did they? Do you reckon that was a winch for blondelin? Sure it's just, uh, one for There's um, another thing over there. There's a big hole here, you know that, don't you? Yeah. They open top this first. The first thing they open topped in the air was this one. I bet, you, I bet you that's what that is, you know. There's only one way to have a look in it, but pff, got no time again, run out of time. 
<laughs> Always this, running out of time. This is the time to look up there now. All yeah, they've all gone. gone, yeah. Trouble is, they say I've got to go to work. <laughs> yeah. Got to go to work. Uh, it's 45 minutes to get home, people. That's for us here. Oh, With a trek. Yeah. 20 minutes on top of that. Yeah. And then Matt's got to cycle back anyway. <laughs> you're going to be knackered, you are. <laughs> Time's your own. you got to be out tomorrow, Matt. You'll find the first pub and that'll be it. It'll all be over. It's one of the good things about tonight. I'll get a pint at least anyway. Hope I remember to charge the iPad. Do a lot of plucking first till you get that pint. <laughs> <laughs> well, we definitely come the right way here, haven't we? Yeah. It was like, what, three, four months ago we came this way? Yeah, we were all here, weren't we? Yeah. Steel tube underneath. There's no boiler, it's all riveted inside. Cool. So we've been all over there today, on them bloody tips. Yeah. Up there, everywhere. Up there, everywhere, literally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get really close to the uh, active quarry here. But they've all gone home, I think. see all the different levels we walked along I think that one yeah we walked along to the end of that one earlier on that'll be one of the uh... right folks that's it for part four if you've not watched part one two and three already please go back and watch our videos we've also got a load more videos online about uh, the whole area in blind eye uh, we've got loads more quarry videos to come um, appreciate you watching this far please like and subscribe and all that lovely stuff and uh, thank you again for watching and uh, please enjoy